Slutskia. This is the women plus 78. It's something about us in Great Britain that we just would love this oh, heavyweight women. We've had Karina Bryant, but even Karina looks quite slim comparing to quite a few of these. She's, she's the rest of the world. One of the more athletic looking uh, heavyweight women, which I think is actually the right kind of shape. Well, you, to have. The Germans are very much athletic as well, and you've got the Russians. Yeah. The, the heavyweights become, are actually becoming taller yeah. and bigger and Is more athletic from the years, mm. 20 years ago, and it, it was really just very big, big, overweight women. Well, that's it's right. not the case the anymore. Yeah, there's just no point to that anymore, just having the bulk. Uh, you know, you've got to have a trained body. Know, and, and, and know how to use your well, size. The, the physical demands that's required to be at this level now anyway, mm -hmm. there's no way you could be just overweight. You have to be fit, you have to be strong. Mm -hmm. And I think because of the expectations of this level now is that that's what we're producing is really strong mm -hmm. athletic women and men. Because it's been the case with uh, the heavyweight men that, that the over hundreds have always a lot of the time have been overweight mm. uh, this is long gone for at least 15 years now that uh, we are producing in the world of judo some real athletic people at this weight category no score yet it's uh, still level not a lot in it Wait for somebody to make the breakthrough. Bit of a grip fighting, tactical contest going on. Mm. Tarasova seems to be the stronger of the gripping at this moment. Yeah, nice and controlling there, but is obviously a bit slow on reacting as far as throwing is concerned. Just drawing her opponent in. But it's what we were saying earlier on. It's really difficult in the first couple of matches to sort of open up because no one really wants to make a mistake because making a mistake at this early stage and you go home without a medal. Yeah. Mm. It's about who's got the uh, the condition. A lot of it is about the condition. That sometimes is the deciding factor, especially when you start getting towards the, the last uh, couple of minutes. Well, we were seeing yesterday and the day before that there seems to be a bit of an overkill of Makakomis, isn't there? Like you were saying, it's the new Chimata. Yeah. Um, I must admit, what I've found, you've got some very tall athletes in some of the divisions, bigger than the average for that weight category. Mm -hmm. But the judo does not suit their style. You, you, they're actually doing things like dropsy and aggies, and you, you would expect the big uchimatas, the big harais, the big osotogaras, ochiko, things that the reach, the, the height advantage, the leg reach, the arm reach, would suit those sort of styles of techniques. Mm -hmm. And they're doing dropsy and aggie, and it, it was really surprising. In some cases, for me, frustrating, because the big uchimatas, big harais, are, are spectacular techniques to see yeah. especially of some really big athletes they're nice to watch and you just think drop seeing an angle and you've got legs like that i would have loved to have legs <laughs> that long and be able to do chimata yeah use the use the the long levers and that's it and it was so very it's very surprising make the most of what you've got oh, oh nice attack from blue. very very good combination and she scores a yuko from that loretta so that it's uh so it's Keo who takes the, the lead now with a minute and 48 remaining of this match. And uh, she certainly seems the fitter she of the two. She just rocked her, didn't she? It was yeah. She went from left to right, back again, and it was, it was just a matter of time that... Yeah, I, I think the, the Ukrainian girl doesn't have any defence to the rear. As soon as she's attacked to the rear, she goes down. So drops the Aggie there. Yeah. She's starting to look tired now as well. She is. 
referees call Mate. There's a minute and 33 remaining. And, and look, uh, you see the body language there, but the Belarusian is up. She's ready. She's waiting. And Tarasova is... She looks as if she's worn right out. Yeah. I think uh, Blue doesn't have to do a lot now. Just played smart. Doesn't have to... Uh, she has to be very controlling because there's a lot of weight. And if she makes a mistake, those we've seen in the past, these makakomis that come over, and if it's fast enough mm. and it's tight enough, the weight on its own takes the, the opponent over. Yeah. So they, they are still very dangerous. Again, See? the Ashy was yeah. are working well for her. She's really rocking her each time. Yeah, and, and every time she's moving back. Oh, lovely drop, seeing Aggie there. Yeah. And that was nice and deep. She's always vulnerable, Tara Silva, when, she, when she's going backwards. You know, she, again, she yes. takes a long time to get back to her feet and back to her start place. Psychologically, she's sending all the wrong signals. And that right grip of the... Belarusian is inside, it's blocking, she's not getting as much leverage over the top that she would like to. Oh, we've lost a, a pitcher. Maybe he wants to make a cup of tea. <laughs> That's what happened in Baku. Really? <laughs> everything stopped working, the scoreboard stopped working, the internet, everything stopped working. This guy plugged everything out of the wall to make some tea. No. I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> Plugged everything out to make tea. <laughs> you can so imagine I'm that as well. Yeah. Everybody looking up as if to say, who turned the lights out? Yeah. So <laughs> and someone's got anyone for tea? We had <laughs> so we had hot tea but no scoreboards. <laughs> no internet. Oh classic. <laughs> That's great. The guy was blissfully happy. Well he, he got his cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody else is running around down yeah. thinking where's the power cut yeah. so we've got 15 seconds to go in this match and um, Slitskia is leading with a Yuko score she's in the blue and Tarasova now changing the pace slightly does she have enough to come back on this I, I doubt it three seconds Two, one, that's, that's time. Uh, that's it. She's the, got Bel it. the Belarusian wins. So let's see how it goes through to the yeah. next round of this women's plus 78 kilo category. Yes. Great start for her. Tarasova with a very pained look on her face. Uh, worn out look. Maybe she was injured as well. It looks more than a tired, pained look. It looks as if she's in some kind of 